Hello and welcome to this special broadcast from the feared and famous 77th Brigade. In today's episode, we take a look at an individual who goes by the name of Andy... Andy, who is a avid Mark Steele fan and is part of the Swindon Yellow Vests and also runs the National Residents Association. We're from the Swindon and Wiltshire Residents Association. And we're here this evening um, because we've had some complaints from residents that live along here about the 5G masks there. They're, they're, oh, they're, they're get, they drive. Yeah, they're getting symptoms, nosebleeds, tinnitus, stuff yeah. like that. Are you yeah, actually getting anything like that? Not so loud, no. No, okay. Which do outreach work, going door to door in Swindon, scaring residents with bogus conspiracy theories about 5G under the guise of acting from an official body. But in today's video, Andy is not knocking doors. He is filming a bee in distress. Yes, we have this bee in distress here. The bee that Andy has found in distress is a white-tailed bumblebee, Bombus leucorum. The white-tailed bumblebee is a very common bumblebee that emerges early in the spring and can be seen feeding on flowers right through to the autumn. It can be found in gardens, farmland, woodland edges, hedgerows, and heathland. Anywhere there are flowers to feed on, as with other social insects. The queen emerges from hibernation in spring and starts the colony by laying a few eggs that hatches workers. These workers tend the young and nest. Males emerge later and mate with new females who are prospective queens, both the males and old. Queen die in the autumn, but the new queens hibernate. Yes, we have must be in distress here. Oh no, it's that anti 5 g nutter. My hide warned me about him. But uh, what are you doing? Get your pen away from me, you pillar. But uh, get away from me, you pillar. Let me die in dignity. This is what we do this time of year. Us yeah, worker bees die off every autumn. Do your research. This is absolutely exhausted, this thing. Oh, get away from me. I'm dying a natural death. And you're sparing me to death poking your head. But your local council will say it's got nothing to do with these bloody things, yeah? They are all lying to us. Stop lying to yourself. It was better do your research, Parker. They're all lying bastards. Get onto your councils and get these street lights removed, guys. And that concludes Andy's Shore video, where his conspiratorial mindset associated a street light to the death of a white tailed bumblebee, which die off in the autumn. Seeing how this video by Andy was filmed on the 27th of September, which is within the season of autumn in the UK. It is tattily normal for white-tailed bumblebees to die off. Andy, who is a avid Mark Steele fan and even wears a Save Us Now t-shirt, needs to do some real research. Instead of taking what Mark Steele says as gospel, the streetlight Andy show are not even 5G. The light nodes work on the frequency of 868 megahertz, which is an unlicensed frequency that is not used in the 5G allocated spectrum. This has been debunked by Mohammed Shafiq and MC2 years ago. There will be some links in the description all about how wrong Mark Steele is about his theories on 5G.